All right, guys. We are jumping into Conway Disappearance at Dahlia View. Uh, it's a mystery story-based thriller type thing. Other than that, uh, I'm going in completely blind. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Hopefully audio is okay. Um, if at any time things get like a little too loud, just let me know. Let me know. I hear somebody singing. Creating save game. That kind of scared me. <laughs> Christmas Eve, 1940. Ooh. Jeez, that was that was really loud. I didn't like that. Um, why was that particular <laughs> that car door shutting so loud? Um, yeah, that went into like completely into the red on uh on that one. Maybe I'll like bring that to like here, this to here. I feel like these shouldn't have been affected, like the car door of all things. Maybe I should bring down the sound effects, maybe. I do like hearing some of like the, the wispiness though. We'll try like that, friends. Oh, um, okay. Are we good? Ooh, who is this? Ooh. This is my kind of game. So cool. I love, like, you guys know, I love my my farming, my life sims. Detective, mystery-based stuff is my weakness. I love it so much. Oh. Oh. <gasps> They're breaking in. I don't even know where they're breaking into. I'm assuming it's somebody's home. Might be a while before I can get it. Rather watch you. Glad to have you here. This, oh, oh no. It's Christmas. This is not in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, we love a good gloomy mystery atmosphere. And in regards to atmosphere, the developers, white paper games, they they do some of like the best atmospheric stuff in games that I've ever seen. <gasps> ooh, ooh! Jenny, come on. You don't have to miss it. Tell them to start without me. I need to check on Marie. Uh, she'll be fine. Step! She she'll is not fine! Five Step away on, from the it. child! Okay, you're right. Oh! Get away! What was her name? Marie? Oh no, guys. Oh no. <gasps> he took the baby! Why would he take the baby? No! On Christmas Eve? This is probably like her first Christmas. This is four years later. Oh. That's terrible. For the best part of my later years. Is that a little loud? Is that loud for anybody else? I think I might turn that down just a little bit. Hang on, hold up. It was a little loud for me. <laughs> Let me know if it wasn't loud for you. I'm turning it down anyway. <laughs> yes, I worked as a private investigator. Let me know how that is. I'd seen many a terrible case. Sadly, most of them unresolved. I might go down one more notch. Sorry, guys. 
Dialog will bring to point six. But in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here. Was it 1940? Oh, I was completely wrong. Thank you for uh, the clarification. I totally thought it said 1950. So yeah, 14 years later. He said something like happened close to home. What was it? I guess we're gonna find out. Is this Conway? Is this him? Hello, old man. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Is Wade the villain? I would never steal a child. Unless it was like a like a like a fur a fur child, like a fur baby, like a doggo. I might think about that. I've heard of of Mother, that movie. I've never seen it though. Well, good morning, sir. Glad the that police? you decided to join us. What on earth is all the commotion? Oh, can I move? Oh, oh, wait, who am I? I'm just like this like disembodied thingamadoodle. Also like those like random like, are those like three like random shadows? That's really throwing me off. Okay, I guess the only thing I can interact with is wheelchair. It's a teacup. I want to interact with the teacup. <laughs> Hides Ayla. Rob, I'm coming for her. Oh. Now, where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. How's uh, how's the dialogue, guys? Is it a little too loud or anything? Let me know. All right, so WASD. That's pretty. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, guys. I'm liking this. Representation for the win. Ooh. I, I was so, like, obviously, like, I've never, um, you know, uh, controlled a wheelchair before, but if I had to imagine controlling one, it seems like they did very, you know, they were very realistic in, you know, the, the movements and the controlling of it. Uh, wow. Oh, okay. All right. What's this over here? Oh, here's the camera. Okay. Anything else that I can grab? Stop investigating. So I guess that would just back, back out, but I'm going to take this. No. I can get a closer look. Okay, all right. Are we getting a closer look at the police? Is that what we're doing here? We can't like back out of like this uh this like scene, right? The uh the camera angles. It seems like is this going to be fixed camera angles for the entire game? Huh. It's not what I'm used to. Uh so I mean, you know, but like new things are good. So, yeah. There's a phone here. We do have the teacup. Oh, oh, can I? Oh, I can't move it around. Oh, I can zoom it in, but I don't think I can like actually move it. Huh. Okay. All right. The inner workings of the criminal mind. Oh, that's a little too close. <laughs> Just checking out everything here. I was about to say, is this his wife? I think it's they. The person looks too young to be his wife. I'm thinking. So maybe his daughter. Can we call anybody right now? I know I'm like supposed to be doing. Oh, oh, it doesn't actually seem like it's gonna let me uh, control it. Okay, at least for now. So we're gonna do what we're told, I guess. I love how the camera is like around his uh his neck. <laughs> and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna take some pictures because we're we're just being a little Enough curious. It's kind of cool how we're in the camera mode. So there's like a dude over there. I think we can take a picture of him. What happened here? It's like somebody died. Oh, you. Oh, oh. Well, I wasn't planning on zooming in this much, but uh, guys, look at that booty. <laughs> the uh, so the the zoom. I do wish it was like a little more like controlled. I was expecting it to zoom in like kind of just like slowly, but um, it seems like it's kind of only th like three settings for like this, 
this and this. So like, I just like <laughs> zoomed in really quickly and yeah, we got this. <laughs> okay, um, let's, uh, let's take a picture of, of this then. It's too far away. It is? I'll have to zoom in. Oh, okay. Oh, Tony, oh, oh no, no, uh, get out, go, shoot, you're, you're, okay, there we go. Tony Morgan's blood, blunt force trauma, item A. Like, he said we need to zoom in, but this is, like, a little, like, out of focus, I feel. Oh, that's Tony Morgan's blood. Not Tony My Morgan. God. I hope he's all right. Uh, I don't know, Please man. Don't be all right. I, like, that, that looks like a decent amount of blood. Who is this man? Um, do we need to zoom in for this, too? Harold not... Levy owns most of the flats in Daily View. I might turn, like, I the... wonder if he saw something. I mean, I think, like, he's allowed to hang out here for a reason. I'm going to turn dialogue down just one more notch, friends. And if it's too quiet, let me know. All right. What else can we see here? Look like some children and sort of drawing on the, uh, on the, the old sidewalk here. What do we have here? Smash during attack. Okay. Um, do I need to be zoomed I'm in for this? I'm not zoomed in enough to see. I was just trying to get, like, both things in there, but I guess we'll just, like, do like that. Smashed plant board. Okay. So... Uh, I, I must have slipped through it. Oh, the dude moved. I didn't even... I should have come to my window sooner. I didn't even see where he went to. So, this is A. We got C. Where's B? Ooh. Oh, this is D. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. I wasn't even, like, looking around to my, uh, my maximum potential. Who is this lady right here? <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't really be judging her, um, for, like, being, like, you know, like, uh, like, snooping and stuff because like we're kind of doing the same thing she's definitely creeping can we get some weighty creeps in chat <laughs> old mrs doa old mrs she's doa she's usually peering through her window watching our neighbors yeah she's past her bedtime <laughs> yeah she uh she's like this is too exciting i gotta go outside for today gotta check this out charlotte may bound during abduction Ooh. Yeah, well, yeah, so that's today. I guess that makes sense why the stuff is here. Charlotte May. Who's Charlotte May? Bound during a production. Dear God. Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, uh, has been kidnapped. Wait, was that the Mr. Morgan guy? Was that him? Is that what they said his name was? Well, that doesn't sound good. Who is she? Who is this lady? Turn around, ma'am. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Her office okay. overlooks the courtyard. I wonder what the crow's nest is. Is it like a like a bar or like a like a pub or something? Oh, interesting. Okay, all right. And who are these peoples? Theodore and Annabelle McKee, I believe. Okay. I really should get to know my neighbors better. <laughs> We're getting to know him now. What do you mean? Can I take a picture of these people inside? That's a little creepy, guys. <laughs> the way to creep in chat. <laughs> um, she won that slow zoom, but she went shoop. <laughs> uh huh, sure. Anna, shh. Just, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> Dialogue audio is still... I hope... Yeah, it's not too quiet now. Thank you guys for the feedback. My grandma would have uh, went outside uh, barefoot, though. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, I don't know if I can take a picture of these people, but I just... I did anyway. I, it seems like the important stuff is kind of, like, highlighted in... Oh, I, I guess the car is important. I wonder if Catherine is with them. Okay. All right. Um... I think that's the police officer in there. That kind of looks like what they were wearing, like, out here. Yeah, I just didn't even see them walk inside. I was so distracted by other things. I... I don't know if we've seen everything. Um... Maybe just, like, if I, like, zoom back out or, like, exit out of here, it'll be like, okay, you're good. 
yeah, I'm not really like seeing anything else. Did we, oh, wait a minute, hang on, here's B, here's B. Almost forgot about it. What is this? It's like a crumpled paper. Possible, oh, it's like a, like a cloth with like some chloroform on it. Oh no, there is. What the heck is going on in this town? I was about to say in this town, but granted when the first incident happened with the baby, I think it said that was like over a hundred miles zoom in for a closer look. somewhere else. The chloroform. Well, that's not that? good. That's not good at all. All right, I'm going to back out of here and see if like it's happy with like all the things that we took a picture of. Different angle. A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't bear thinking about? Yeah, when he said Imagine this one was close that. to home, <laughs> he wasn't Time kidding. Time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know. Hoffman, welcome in. How's it going? I hope that you're doing well. Mm, I'm just imagining your 1940s flash bulb going off from your window with with every photo. Yeah, no, nobody nobody notices it. <laughs> Fandoodle, nice to see you. The check mark suits you nicely. Thanks so much, Fandoodle. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it, but I kind of like it. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe a lot of it. All right, so we're going to, I guess, um, go and talk to our neighbors. But first, we're going to check out this notepad because it got in our way. Objectives. Something has happened in Dahlia View, but what? Well, I think we know what now. I need the camera. So we got the camera. Go to the window to find out what what's happening. Have I still not found all the things? Talk to the Dahlia View residents. Guys, I don't think I found all the things. Because it's like still like got an asterisk beside it. And yeah, we know about this. So, okay. Alright. Should I go back? Whoop. 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 <laughs> So yeah, it definitely seems like it's like a, a fixed camera angle type thing. Again, like this, I'm not used to it. So, oh, uh, it doesn't really seem like it's letting me do the the um, the window again. So maybe we did. I I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just gonna try to leave. But yeah, I'm not used to the fixed camera stuff. But um, trying to get used to it pretty snazzy i definitely see why they did it because like white paper games all of the games that they've ever put out are like very like cinematic um so i feel like this is very fitting with that okay all right i want to say that this ribbon here like might be like a reference toward their first game uh which was called ether one which like kind of like surrounds around like a ribbon i think this is one of the areas from the games too if i remember right what do we have here? Tickets. Riverport P Pavilion. The Fall of a King. Saturday 26. Yeah, we might be a little busy. I don't know if we're going to be able to go to that. Can oh, I thought he was going to say something about it. Oh, okay. It just brings it up like that. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okie dokes. Can I, can I get in the fridge? Can we get some food? I guess not. All right. What was in this store over here? Could I go in here? I guess that's a no. All right. Can we go out the front door? Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right. Mm. It's definitely well deserved. Thank you so much. Also, Nelly's Frog, welcome in. How's it going? Don't fall out of the window. No promises. I'm still getting used to the uh, the fixed camera angles and the wheelchair. It's a lot to get used to. Movement style, standard. Or um camera centric what is the camera centric whatever it is i i don't like that yeah no so we're definitely switching back to this i i don't yeah yeah we're just going with this <laughs> this is a lot smoother i was like just running into the door and i like couldn't get out of it okay all right um, can I not take any, like, pictures here? I don't know if I necessarily need to, but yeah. Alright, friends, we're proceeding this way. Is there an elevator here? Or, like, a ramp or something? Oh, yeah, thank goodness there's an elevator. 
it'd be kind of hard like if he like moved like into a place like without one like i just i shouldn't have been surprised that there like was one here like you know can you imagine like if the game started it up and he's like wait a minute why did i move into this place this isn't very accessible all right we'll back out of there and then oh 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 still trying to get used to it friends okay all right let's just go in here I like that they take, you know, into, like, every consideration the movements, though. Like, it didn't, like, just end when, like, the um, elevator opened up. Like, I actually had to, like, wheel into there. I think that, that's kind of nice. I think that's kind of nice. So we have flats 5 through 8 over that way. But, like, I don't feel like I would be able to, like, even get into, like, any of the flats right now. Um... I feel like most of the neighbors were outside, so I feel like we should go towards the exit. It's easy to run into stuff. I, I did that a lot in the demo. Yeah, no, I don't even know how that camera-centric one would work. Uh, it was just, it was definitely not working for me, I can tell you that. So I'm, I'm glad that there's this option. What does that say? Base, basement? Basement access. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What's over this way? I just want to see that before we leave. I'm just trying to explore all the stuffs. Okay, so that's one through three. Got it. We'll go through here. Open up the door. Charlotte May could only be seven or eight years old. Can I Why would someone want to take her? No, I can't. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, ooh, this is like very like cinematic-y and stuff. Oh, 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 not too fast, not too fast down the hill. I just kind of had to stop myself there for a second. <laughs> they really kind of took into consideration like everything with the wheelchair movement. I really like that. Um, these developers, they do a lot of new stuff that I've never really seen in like any game. Um, and I, I think that's really cool. Hi, guys. I don't know you too well, but... Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? And so you know what happened. Theodore McGee. They're looking for a kidnapper. A search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley. She and owns Annabelle the pub McKee. across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. Okay, so that's her sister. I what do you know about said. the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Uh, not much. But that's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. But Mrs. Doe. <laughs> She knows everything that goes on here. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> yeah. if she saw the kidnapper. We'll I definitely have to talk to her. She the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Oof. Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. I wonder oh, how blast. old what Charlotte May it? was. Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Good night, guys. Uh, we'll it's just a pleasure again. to officially mm. meet you. They seem pretty nice, but, you know... First impressions can be deceiving. Um, so, like, the first, like, scene that we saw, I think, like, the the baby's name was, like, Marie or something like that. That was obviously, like, a very young child. So I'm just wondering if this Charlotte May was, like, the same age as Marie. If it's, like, the same... It would make sense that it's, like, the same person, right? Well, Kale, welcome in. How's it going? I hope that you're doing well. And Dave, appreciate the lurk. Thank you, thank you. I hope that uh, you're enjoying the noms. Gonna watch the last episode of Squid Game? Oh, Dave, I, I want to, like, talk to you about it after you see it. So, like, whether that be, like, in here or, like, you know, off stream. Because I know I don't want to spoil it for anybody, too. That was, that was a good show. That was a good show. Just got home from picking up the boyfriend. Uh, he got all four wisdom teeth taken out. Time to play nurse. Oh no, Pan Doodle. I hope that he heals up soon, isn't in too much pain. I had mine taken out probably maybe like six years ago, something like that. Yeah, it was not fun. Can we like, I don't know if we really even need to see the evidence here since we already took a picture, but we can do it, it looks like. 
Also, a uh, trickster welcome in and a uh, snubsy welcome in too. How are you guys? How many suspects yet? N like, I just met um, the first two characters, so definitely not. <laughs> it was me the entire time. <laughs> welcome in. Also, Farmer Joe, how's it going? The graphics in this game are so pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. I would say so. Like, it's not like the biggest amount of blood. So, like, you know, he could potentially be okay. But, like, I mean, that's that's still like a pretty decent amount of blood, you know? Let's, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the only thing that I, like, haven't really gotten used to, like, uh is like the the turning like sometimes that like gets like a little like wonky and i end up turning the wrong way let's talk to this dude because i think he's related to it was like same last name or something wasn't it good evening mr levy no evening. levy never mind well, strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on our doorstep you ain't wrong it's a bloody mess did you see what happened at all no uh, how well did you know charlotte may you live next door you must have seen her a lot What you got to say, Harold Levy? I hope you're gonna clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. Just completely I'm sure this avoid must the question. Be a great inconvenience to you. <laughs> huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. I'm glad that he's Keep got his priorities straight. And we'll get along just fine. Thanks, Harold. May I ask Appreciate what you. you were doing tonight? No. Mm. Uh, I uh, I don't mind um the thank you for looking out for us, Davy. But I don't mind like the the theorizing like uh too much or that kind of thing. Um, as long as it's like not like straight up like spoilers and that kind of stuff. Um, so like you know if you've played the game, obviously like try to avoid that thing. But yeah, thank you, thank you for looking out for us. Oh oh oh, started to do like a weird camera angle there. Way. May I have a moment? Yes, Mrs. Doer. How can I help you? Okay, all right. I'm coming. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hello, Mrs. Doer. How's it going? Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Mrs. Doer always knows what happened. Officer, is she not? She is. So yeah. it was our daughter I in the picture. This. Oh, is that, is that like an actual, like, Dahlia? Oh, it's a beautiful brooch. Was this Charlotte Mays? Oh, I, I, <laughs> I can see we can't focus on it all too well. We'll take this. Ah, what's this then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that... Poor girl. Or Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs the person who took her. It. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. She's all business. Can you tell she? me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. <laughs> huh? Did you see anything else at all? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch. Okay, all right. Thanks for your help, ma'am. <laughs> um, I'm okay. Super tired after some cleaning and finishing uh, knitting a blanket. Ooh, nice. Now, see, what color was the blanket? I've never done any kind of, like, knitting or crocheting or anything like that before, but I've always kind of wanted to, like, know how to do that kind of thing. It's amazing how people can, like, just, like, make something out of nothing. Then a lurky turkey with meetings. I know you're always so busy with your meetings, Rochelle. Always appreciate the lurks. Can I say I love the disability representation in this game? Rochelle, you and me both, girl. You and me both. Like, I was saying earlier, um, with uh, the developers, White Paper Games, they're, they've always been really fantastic about implementing things in the game that, like, I've never really seen in other games. And so, like... I, I've definitely never played a game um, like this where the, the main character, um, you know, it does have this this added challenge of the disability. And, I, I, you know, I think it's really fantastic that they're representing. Uh, oh, Farmer Joe, congrats, congrats. You got to tell us, how uh, how did you meet your new lady friend? 
speaking of lady friends, who, uh, who, oh, oh, I'm just rolling back here. Who's this lady friend? We're getting a little too close to her. <laughs> Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What did you say? I think this I was the sister of the other woman. Some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in Daily of You is I don't know if you guys seen. saw Mr. that person walking in the background. It scared Mr. me for a second. Who are you referring to? I think it was just that a cop. son of a bitch right there with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy. <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight, but no other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly, I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries coming and going at night. Uh, you think he can't see that back? I did, but... I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? <sighs> Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search. It was, like, definitely, like, weird how that, like, dude, he, like, completely uh, ignored, like, Mr. our Morgan. question about, like, how, like, you know, he knew, like, the family and the daughter and that kind of thing. And he's like, well, you paying rent soon? <laughs> thanks, uh, th thanks for the information, sir. <laughs> can we check this out here? Yeah, it looks like we can. Signs of struggle. Who would tie up a small child? You're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, so, like, I feel like this instance, Charlotte May, I'm guessing would be older than the, the first child that was taken. Because, like, this seemed like a child that was, like, out on the street, like, playing. At least that's what I'm getting the impression on. Uh, I don't trust things from creepy old ladies in video games. Maybe she'll turn out to be, like, really sweet. But, yeah, for now, like, it, she's definitely like, okay, let's get down to business type deal. And I get it. Like, you know, under, you know, these circumstances, you kind of have to be. But let's see about this, too. Oh, so the kidnapper smashed this during the altercation. Was it the kidnapper that smashed it? Do we know that? Bold of you to assume, Mr. Conway. Let's, uh, talk to whoever is over here. And before, like, this is the, uh, this is the dude. We found him, guys. Get him. Hello, Mr. Morgan. <gasps> My name is Robert Conway. I live in flat 23. Is this yes, the dad? Sir. I've seen you around, Mr. Conway. Uh, well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be content just to stare. I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Oh, it's very no. kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course, I understand. The police officer you spoke to was most likely my daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself, so... And now we're getting back in action. Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services too, if you'd permit me. That's very kind, but I, I don't have money, I'm afraid. Oh, Mr. Morgan, no. I'm a father myself. I meant to say that I'm at your disposal. Very generous, but the police said that... All I'd be doing is observing and talking to people. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with Catherine. Catherine? Uh, my daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. Oh, that reminds me. I have this brooch. Does this mean anything to you? Uh, that's Charlotte May's. Oh, it is you hers. You see how the simplest detail can be overlooked. Even by the police. Best to have as many eyes on the case, in my experience. Uh, I see your point. May I have it back, please? Would you mind if I kept onto it for a day or so, in case it proves to have some use? Y yes, of, of course. If, if you think it would help. This poor I man. Would to return it, though. 
as soon as I have something to report back to you. You have my word. He is, like, completely so, broken. And completely understandably so. Be, well, right here. In Tavia View. Yes. I mean, this is where it happened. It's my experience that it's usually someone who knows the victim. But do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbors has my girl? Well, no, no. I I'm merely saying that it's a logical place to start. You can see where he got hit on his head. He has, like, oh, a I bandage see. there. That's why the police searched my house. Because I'm a suspect, I suppose. Aww. That's the way it works, I'm sorry to say. So they're not even looking for the real kidnapper. I can assure you they will be. You're my friend I'm now. To Conway. And to be honest, James. Why are you going to look for my girl? Thanks so much for the five gifted subs, man. I what the heck? I'll You've stop gifted at five fifteen it. subs. Holy moly. For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have um, taken a shot at me. Uh Chel Chel Red Knights. Conway. Uh, bad guys, you know, silver, and thing. Archie. Guys, welcome to the I sub family. Thanks to James. James, how are you well, doing, friend? Now, Thank you for adding to our handy dandy sub total. So appreciated. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Morgan. Good night. Uh, and good luck. Good night, Mr. Conway. I'm so glad that, like, he agreed to, like, allow us to, like, kind of join in on the search, though. That's really good. James, thank you so much. Can one of our mods, if uh, we have one available, do a shout-out for Mr. Y2 James? James plays a lot of horror games over on his stream stream. Um, like, some Phasmophobia. Um, some, like, some indie um, horror games. Please make sure to send him some love. James, how you doing today? Also, like, I'm still, like, checking to see if our, like, subtotal is, like, um, like, actually updating. I was, like, a little, like, antsy on it before, so maybe I just, like, need to give it, like, a little more time. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Keeping my eyes on it. Keeping my eyes peeled. Uh, I followed a pattern from Harry Potter, Magical Knitting, and I've spent a, a lot of time on it. I'm so, I'm so proud. Ooh, Snipsy, that sounds really cool. I didn't even know there was, like, a, a Harry Potter, like, Magical Knitting, but I guess that makes sense since I, I, you know, I've never knitted. But I do love me some good old Harry Potter. I'm really excited for the Harry Potter game that's coming out, like, next year, too. Hey, friend, how's this new game so far? So we just started it up, but like so far it's it's been a very beautiful um, story so far. It's very intriguing. Um, for those of you that might be just joining us, this is Conway. It just released today. Uh, it's made by the same developers of one of my favorite games called The Occupation. Um, and like all of their games are like very like cinematic. Um, and so this one has, is definitely kind of like followed in those footsteps too. So yeah, I, I'm really excited to see where it goes. Uh, basically what's happened so far is like, there's been like a child that's been taken from like our neighborhood. And so we just kind of like introduced ourselves to like all the neighbors and we're just trying to figure out, uh, who's, uh, who's behind it, who took the child. I don't think there is anything else out here, but I'll do like one more like sweep through. Um, just to see if we missed anything. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's switching to that camera angle now, so I'm assuming we're good there. We might not even be able to go back over here. It might just want us to, uh, to go back up the way. Granted, I think it did say we have a new objective, so I could probably check that too. You're my friends now. Oh, we'll have you shot tackled later. So shift. Congrats on partnership with Nick and Twitch. Mm, Wady <laughs> love Lady Frog. <laughs> yeah, we had two partnerships. Holy moly, Sue so shift. Two years. Guys, can we get some hype in chat for Sue shift? Welcome back to the sub family. I hope that you enjoy your badge, your emote special role in Discord. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm still like keeping an eye on that subtotal, guys. I still don't know like why it's not like really updating too much. Um but we'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? And Phantom, thank you for doing the shout out for wonderful Mr. James as well. Hey, River Dragon. Nice to see you. How are you? Can't imagine. Right, Pandoodle? That, uh, yeah, no, that would be insanely scary. So it still says go to the window and find out what happened in Dahlia View. That one's still not checked off. So like, I'm wondering if I'll be able to go back and do it. 
I should return home to piece together the information I've collected. All right, will do. So we'll hit tab there and let's go around this way. Thank you guys for dropping all that hype in chat too. I love all the, uh, Dad? Ooh, ooh, is it, what was her name? Catherine? It is. Hello, I daughter. I shouldn't be here, not with you living so close. A conflict of interest and all. Are you finished here? Almost. So his yes. first name's Robert, Robert Are Conway. Yes, I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. <laughs> it doesn't look like the most comfortable thing. Granted, they found? do have a skirt. A little flowy. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the Pinewoods? Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead end. We're not clueless, but we can't be seen to be doing nothing. And the locals suggested the woods, so... Dear God. I just wonder if I should talk to my neighbors again. Oh, again? Y yes, Catherine, <laughs> I've been She's like, you've already been snooping. Uh, Dad. What? I know this is happening on your doorstep, but please don't get any ideas. Well, I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. You don't do this I I'm getting that already. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police That's have don't any fun, ideas? That's still fun, Catherine. I mean it, don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help. Too I want to late. do this on my own. I didn't realize what this means to you. I meant to say, I want to do it the right way. By the book? Nah, Please that's no fun. Me. Okay, I, I promise. I no! Peace work up to you. No, we Thank can't you. promise that. That I means bet. no fun for us. I bet me off. Why do I feel like we're gonna break this promise? For the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Please go back inside. You'll catch a chill. Night, my love. You'll catch okay. a chill, my daughter. <laughs> mm. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can tell how serious she is about her case. I've never seen her so driven. This, I suppose I'll still with the, uh, the photos. The I've blinking way the frog, oh no. I might have captured something that the police did not. Ooh. I've commissioned I uh, some new emotes for us. So hopefully we'll get those soon. In my flat, out of the way. Conway's flat, 734, the next morning, okay. Shogun, thank you so much, and thank you for the hydration. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, serious. Uh, Allie Murphy. So she um, did a, a really good amount of act, uh, voice acting in their previous game, which is one of my favorites, The Occupation. Um, she did so fantastic in that, so I was really excited to see that she was going to be doing some voice acting in this one, too. The police have marked out several pieces of evidence that are likely related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doa handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte May. Could the brooch be a missing piece of the puzzle? Answer question to solve evidence board. Connect the pin from the question to the relevant piece of information. Oh, interesting. Okay. Where did Mrs. Doa say she found the brooch? Oh, no. Um, can I look back at like my notes on this? Hang on. Hold up. 
Lady Dorr is an elderly woman who occupies the old manor house next door to the block of flats. Last we spoke, she seemed to have little time for me and handed me a brooch. She lives alone, and I think it's safe for her to say that most people in Dollar View know little to nothing about her. Her house looks like the perfect place to hide someone. It's a really weird thing to say. <laughs> All dark and mostly abandoned. Okay, alright. Well, I guess I can kind of see what you're talking about now. Um, so our options are the courtyard, which is like right in front of her house. Okay. What I took of the courtyard, can I? Oh, oh, interesting. Um, and then what is this over here? Courtyard two. So this is like kind of the other end that's closer to our house. All right, gotcha. And so... Uh, I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. Like, the fact that she found it, like, right outside of her house, I, I feel like, you know, it's got to be over here. Um, but granted, maybe I have to pick a specific spot. And I, I'm assuming it was right outside of her house. So I'm going to try this. Review theory. Hey! So, if Mrs. Dill was right about where she found the brooch, it means... Ooh, we got a lot more stuff. At some point Ooh. Well, I'm liking this I so far, friends. Also, I'm seeing now that the, sub the subtotal's updating. It's just, like, taking a while. It sounds like I have mail. Mm, don't let your right get in the way of finding the daughter. Dang it, Catherine. Yeah, I know. It's like, you know, under normal circumstances, like, I would be like, yeah, I get it. It's like... Um, this is like her, you know, first like big assignment I check with, that with mail work. Was through my um, but yeah, no, like when it's like somebody's life on the line, it's like definitely not something that you want to mess with. All hands on deck. He said, "Check the mail." I'm assuming it's in this like mail basket type oh, thing. What's yeah. This? Here we go. What's in the envelope? Ooh, guys, it's an unmarked envelope. Well, this looks promising. Hmm. You get to be the first to know, since I can't hold it in the, in my, uh, my razor mouth just got here. Ooh, serious. I think I remember you telling me that, uh, you had ordered that. That's the one, like, with the, the lights on it, right? Oh, man, I can't wait to see. When are you streaming next, by the way? And Shogun, I'm glad that you're doing well. Learning about, uh, specialized commands for this stuff and other fun stuff. I don't really know too much about that. And also, Yuri, welcome in. I'm doing well. How are you? Hype Lord, thanks so much on the partnership. Congratulations. How are you? And Wade, hello, hello. Can we get a shout out for that Wade? Not this Wade. That Wade in chat if we have a mod available. It reads letter something something. Oh no, the car insurance, the extended warranty. How did they find me? <laughs> Uh, how do I... I can zoom in on it. Oh, oh, no, I don't... I, uh. Let's try that again. Envelope. <gasps> Eternit with the WASD. I was not expecting that. I kind of wish that you can control that too with the mouse. Like, if I'm already here, you know? Okay, got it. What does this say? I apologize for my shortness last night, Mr. Conway. I realized that you were trying to help me. I've already told the police, but the only people who I think could have taken my Charlotte May are our neighbors. Okay, so this must be, yeah, this is her dad, Mr. Morgan. The McKees, Harold Levy, Shirley Downs, and old Mrs. Doerr all have access to the courtyard. You said yourself, I think you might be onto something. More eyes on the case can only be a good thing, 100%. Thank you again for offering to help, T. Morgan. I got you. I got you, T. Sweet. Okay, so we'll... Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but now I have something solid to work with. Be a plot twist if it wasn't one of the neighbors. Catherine has asked me not to get involved. She's but I've beautiful. already promised Mr. Morgan I'll find And there's her brooch! Her. I should have told Catherine there and then. I'm already involved. So yeah, she's definitely a lot older than like the first child that was taken. It's gotta be by the same person, right? I can feel it again. That drive, that first pull of the yarn. 
It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake. And I can still give Catherine her space. If the whole town is searching the Pinewoods, someone needs to keep an eye over Daly and me. I wonder who that could be. Oh, Chris, hello. <laughs> Conway, disappearance at Dolly of You. I guess now we're starting it up, friends. Oh, I'm excited. I just love me some good old detective-y type stuff. This one definitely seems like it has like some heavier, darker themes to it. The excessive amount of uh, stuff for a mask on uh, Friday through Sunday this weekend. I'm so excited to see you, man. I assuming that you'll be showing it on the stream and that kind of thing. Ooh, scurry music. Survived my double experience yesterday. Neighbors, Still one tomorrow. So How did they go so far, Yuri? But I've seen nothing of any use. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely in Shallow Way. I was a little concerned for a second there. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. When Miss McKee there was walking, the shadow was under her chin I thought was a so beard, cool. and I was like, why is Conway dressed up as a woman? Is this for the investigation? Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Is he incognito? Only he go in Sherlock Holmes time. mode? Ooh, ooh, all right, we're taking more pictures, friends. All right, what you doing, Miss McKee? You're looking a little suspect right there. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. What you doing? By their account, they didn't see Mr. much at McKee. all. I don't know if the, I don't need Why to take a picture Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? Speaking of uh, Mr. Morgan, Oh, look, it's all the, uh, the pamphlets saying, like, the, the missing person, the missing Mr. child. Mr. writing missing posters by hand. Bless his heart. He's been there all evening. I just, I love him. I just met him, but I love him. I just, oh, uh, he breaks my heart. All right, what are you guys doing? This, like, this is a little, like, creepy, guys. Know that this is purely for an investigation. Are they, are they fighting? Oh, maybe I should have taken a picture there. Oh, crap. Did I miss out on an opportunity? Maybe they'll come back. Oh. What else do we have? Uh, doesn't look like I can see anything down there this time. Where did they go to? Oh, oh yeah, they are coming back. Or at least she is. Are you okay, ma'am? Oh, he's coming back too. Oh, I think they're making up. I don't know what they were fighting about, but, um... I still have no idea what the problem is. Same. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. It's like they're looking at, like, something coming from this way. Uh... Oh, did they, like, think somebody was, like, over here? The way that, like, she kind of, like, peeked in. Look at those dirty dishes. What is this, my house? Oh. And now, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle oh. has seen something just out of my view. Oh. Whatever it is. What was it? She's horrified by it. Is she okay? Alright, she's like still sitting over there. He looks pretty distraught too. Uh we'll take another picture of her. What can you see? She's like glancing back and forth, making sure that like nothing's happening with uh with Mr. Morgan too. People are leaving flowers on Mr. Morgan's doorstep. Aww. 
Charlotte May is already dead. We should leave flowers for him, too. Granted, we're a little busy right now. Whoa! Whoa, ma'am! Where'd you get that? She's got a knife. Celine, welcome in. How's it going? Jesus. She's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. Uh, that's, that's a pretty big knife, guys. Now she's got like a, like a mallet? It's Bluetooth too nice. What you doing, Buckaroo? What, what do you mean he doesn't know which one to use? What, what are we doing here? I, I don't know what's what he is going on, what is being planned, but I don't like it either way. It looks like he chose the mallet. Theo, don't do it. Whatever it is, uh, take pause of yourself. We don't need to wash these dishes. We can just we can just break them. <laughs> Oh, it's like something over here in the corner and like, oh, she's like, use this knife or this mallet to like, destroy it? Kill it? What is it? Oh, guys. Oh. Talking to. Is that a practice swing? Yeah, he's like working up the like courage or something to. Dear God. <gasps> no! No! Oh. I just witnessed. Guys! Oh! Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Gonna assume it's a mouse? Like, that was, like, very, like, dramatic. Like, all, like... I mean, like, granted, I probably would have acted the same way. Like, around a mouse type deal. Annabelle but, like, that whole scene... Like, it seems like it was something bigger than a mouse, you know? Go. <gasps> I don't think that's a mouse, guys! Shit. What are you doing? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> that thing was your idea. My idea. That's a really big mouse. That's a Godzilla-sized mouse. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. How does nobody else notice this? Get it out of here. Oh, oh yeah, Mr. Morgan. Look, they're up to something. Look, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely. Yes, I suppose so. Please, if you don't mind, I have something. It's just like it looked sad. like it was rolled up too tightly Please. to have like really do a child in there, right? I'm so sorry. Of course. It, it's fine, Annabelle. Bruh, I see you. I don't think I can take a picture of this, but I'm doing it anyway. You won't hesitate to ask. Oh man, I think I just missed that one. Oh. Catherine asked me not to get involved. Like, again, I don't think that was, like, Charlotte May, yes. but, like, obviously it was something. <sighs> it's not over until it's over. Is he just going to put up, like, I a, think I need to pay a missing poster? Personal call. You think so? We might end up in a rug next. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to, uh, to interact with here. Oh, guys, that was pretty intense.